friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another video for the Autumn Garden Journal. Um, today we're going to be placing some of the ephemera into the journal. I still may have an, one more ephemera making video. I haven't quite decided. Um, doing what we're going to do today will give me an idea of what else I might need for the journal. I have so many ideas popping in my head. I can't obviously do them all in a for one journal. So <clears throat> let me talk about the journal first and the giveaway. So the Autumn Garden Journal, which is what you see here, is the 2000 subscriber giveaway. It's the grand prize. There are three prizes in the giveaway, one being this journal, which is a three signature journal, and it is this gate fold. I haven't put the uh, latch on it yet, but I will be doing that um, coming up. And I do notice that my husband just turned the TV on in the other room, so my apologies um, for the any background noise you might hear. Uh, I have not been feeling well again. I just can't seem to fight anything going around. So I have not been in the studio creating or filming for um, about four days. So <clears throat> I've got to get it done. So um, again, this is the grand prize. The second prize is the Autumn Diary Journal. And then the third prize is the Mini Altoid Tin Journal called Cottage Charm. And the, um, the, the third prize will just be a random name draw, comment draw. This, this one and the second and the Autumn Gar Diary Journal, excuse me, will be drawn from the all the comments likes and comments in the two playlist corresponding with the journal so there's a playlist for the autumn garden journal and there's a playlist for the autumn diary journal in order to qualify you need to be um, you need to live in the united states or canada <clears throat> unfortunately at this time i cannot ship internationally i don't sell any of my work i don't have an etsy shop i don't anymore i and I never sold this kind of work on my Etsy shop. I, I was a mixed media artist prior to focusing on journal making. So um, I don't sell my work. And so um, to give to give something away and then also pay for shipping is just exorbitant for a lot of um, areas to send to. I'm still problem solving how I want to handle that in the future. So um, you need to be uh, you need to live in the United States or Canada. You need to be a subscriber on the channel, and you need to go back to both of the playlists and um, like and comment on each of the videos. And is all I'm asking is that your your comment be engaging. So. Um, and for each of that, that looks different, right? Some of us are more introverted, some of us are more extroverted, some of us are more private, some of us are more social. I only, I understand that, I get that. I just want some interaction. So, um, you know, share your favorite holiday tradition. We've had great comments. I just really, really enjoy corresponding with people in the comments about what their memories are and what their traditions are. And it's, it's just really, it makes the world a better place, in my opinion. So those are the qualifications. That, that will all be listed in the description box box in case you need to review that and, um, and it's also in every it's in the description box for every video in the series in the each of the playlists so once once this journal is finished <clears throat> um, I will do the drawing it's going to be fairly comprehensive because I need to track every video in the playlist in two playlists and then I need to log every log the comments and then see you know the people that commented on every video <laughs> so that's going to be quite an endeavor but I'm getting ready to go on a uh, winter break for school, so um, I'm an educator, so I, uh, I will have some time um, as of the 21st of December. So, <laughs> boy, I am talking a lot tonight. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the construction of the journal. As you can see, it is a gatefold journal. It will have a metal latch. I can't, I haven't done this yet because I need my husband to help me because I need somebody to be able to hold this together while I glue and then I have to also problem solve how I'm going to keep the latch in place while the E6000 dries. So I don't want to do that prematurely and wreck this cover. So, and if you want to see how I made the cover, um, that's in one of the videos in the playlist. So um, the dimensions of this journal, the um, cover measures six by nine in total. Obviously all the pieces are different because they're, they're you know, their gatefold. So they've got two spines. We've got the spine here that the signatures are attached to and then we've got the side spine on the right. This is a hidden spine so if you look here you can see that obviously as I just showed you, excuse me, let me back up here. 
We don't have any strings on the outside because it is a hidden spine. So this is the hidden spine here. And so basically what you do is you take a piece of, I took a piece of chipboard, the same chipboard I used for the cover, and I stitched all the signatures into the chipboard and then I glued the chipboard into the spine. So that's what you see here. Hopefully you guys can see both of, all of that. I did add this beautiful gold ribbon just because I was kind of fussing around in here and, and thinking, oh, do I want to add some gold to this? I love gold. I think it's just so beautiful and regal. I also did add, add this button trim. I added it to one page in each of the signatures. Um, I absolutely love this trim. I didn't make it. It came like that. I got it from Hobby Lobby. We will be putting some beads on the um, signature strings. It looks like some of them are up top, but that doesn't matter. So the um, the it's three signatures. There are I put eight pages here. I did add a ninth page because I didn't hadn't put any coffee dyed paper in, and I wanted that. The, the spine measures two and three quarters inches, and our max paper size needs to be five and a half by eight and a quarter, and that's because of this. So that's because this is going to close. So we have room on the top and bottom for things to stick out, but we don't have room on the side. Um, we have a little bit because I made the, the max size um, a little bit smaller than the journal itself. So we have a little bit of room to have some lace hanging off the side. And um, so generally in my, my kit, my signatures, I have three kit pages, two vellum pages in each signature, um, two other meaning um, book pages or vintage um, music pages, um, usually like an envelope or you're going to see there's a CD envelope in here that's been coffee dyed. And then um, what else did I put in here? Um, I think that's it because I, I did. And then the coffee dyed paper, excuse me. So that is just an overview of the journal construction itself. So let me set that aside because I want to show you. This is the stuff we've been making on camera. So you didn't, I didn't do a video. Well, actually, truth be told, I did do a video. I did it when I was not, sorry, focus, when I was not feeling well. And it just, it just, the video was just really complex and it was really not very clear and I don't have the energy to edit it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you here. So I did two collage boards with um, scraps from the kits that I used in the, in the journal and so and then I took um, I used uh, um, sorry fluid matte medium to adhere these because I wanted to seal this paper as well and so um, the paper is thinner than what I normally work on mixed media on but then we came in we did some um, some crackle as you can see here we did some crackle focus there we go and then we came in with a stencil and some gold gesso and did some of this I still need to decorate these but I just thought I'd show you what they look like so we will be coming back to these this is going to be a tag and this is going to be a large tag and look at those little children aren't those so beautiful uh, and then um, a journal card probably a journal card this is probably going to be a pocket a couple more of those cute children and then this is probably going to be a side pocket so a side tuck so I just thought I'd show you that since they're on the top of the bin so let's just look at what we have you guys I'm gonna just pull this out onto the desk this is just crazy this is how I build my journals I always start with my ephemera first because it gets me inspired for the journal as a whole. So here we go. I've got all kinds of stuff in here. I should have pulled this out first, you guys, sorry. Not sure that this one is actually supposed to go in this journal, but this is some uh, envelopes that we made. I don't think this was intended for this journal. In fact, I'm gonna set that aside. I think that might be a mistake. So this is the most recent make we did, which is it's a belly band with an envelope that goes, um, tucks in, um, the flap tucks in under the belly band, excuse me. So there's two of those. And then this is the most recent video too, where we did the, um, the writing space that folds out. It's a journal card. Um, that's the prototype. I'm probably not going to use that either. This was um, one of those um, signature things. You know what? I think this is going to take us too long to look at everything. I will talk to you about each piece as we put it in the journal. But you can see here, we have a ton here. I am gonna kind of sort here a little bit so that I know what I'm, what I'm working with. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's stuck. 
this these have not been completed either so I'm gonna probably need to do some busy work this is another um, this was a mixed media 101 uh, video where I showed you how to do some of this texturizing so we'll uh, add that to that little um, that little bit over here to work on later and let's see what else we got we got um, what was this oh this is the belly band that's got the um, Amazon bubble wrap in it um, a tag couple tags the same this is a this um, we made at the very beginning it is a um, like a little tuck spot here with a hidden paper clip in the side that can go on the side of a page let me put that there um, we've got some a couple of clusters we've got these cute little pockets that there's a video current video or not current most or more recent video so I'm going to set that aside this is some ephemera that we made with um, just uh, scraps from, I believe these were mostly from Heather over at Ruby and Pearl. So we did these together here too. So we've got tags and such that will go in. And then there's another one of those. And then this is a, I did this for another, um, when I was creating another um, journal, but it's a fold out writing space bookmark like that. So that's going to go in this journal because the colors are phenomenal for this journal. So I'm going to set that there too. And then this is something I made also um, not for this journal, but I'm probably going to use it. It's a um, um, water yeah, waterfall journal, waterfall writing space. So we'll set that over there. And this was one of the envelopes that is going to go in this, um, in this uh, journal. Let me see what it has. I can't. I have a terrible memory, so I don't remember what's in it. Oh, we put stuff in it, too. Check that out. It's all nice and beautiful, so we will be putting that in this journal. I usually have way more than I need, and when that happens, I will send along some of these bits to the person who receives it. Uh, we've just got some random envelopes and stuff here, and I'm going to set those aside because I may not use those. And then we've got, what is this? Oh, this was a recycling. This was a Crash Your Trash, where I used some old packaging and created this tuck spot with a card. So that's going to go in there for sure. And, oh my goodness, and this is similar. This is another, um, I think this is a paper bag. Um, I forgot how much I had. Oh my goodness, this always happens. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to move some of this stuff. I don't have enough room. And these are some other bits. This was another bit from that I made, um, not associated with this journal, but it's another one of the accordion things. So we will see about that, I'm not sure. And then this is a folio that's going to go in, in between the signatures are in the front or the back of the journal. So um, that is bulging out. I'm gonna have to address that, it's coming undone. Um, I, will, I will look at that later. And then another vellum envelope. So let's get going. Enough of that. So let's go ahead and pull the journal back over. And I thought we'd just start with um, a few pieces. I don't want to keep you too long. It's already been 13 minutes of me jabbering, so um, which is just silliness. So this one, um, I think I'm going to reserve this space for that um, that newer um, collage bit that I had. I had mentioned that I my sewing. When I sewed this vellum, my tension was off, and so I just repaired it with washi tape. And so I thought I'd put um, like a side pocket there. So we'll come back to that. So let's see if we can put something right here in the very front. These envelopes have to go um, like this. So I think, so they Velcro. You know what, maybe these have to be paper clipped in. I think these have to be paper clipped in. So those can be added at the end. Uh, I guess we could s sort of put them in and see if we like them, but these could also go in between signatures. So let me just set these ones. This is this one will fit. Oh, will this one fit? No, silly, silly lady. This one will fit though. Isn't that so cute? It's adorable. It doesn't have anything in it yet, so this one would actually be really pretty on this. I'm going to put it right there. Beautiful. Okay. So I've got my white glue. I'm just using this because it's the it's the best for vellum in my experience. 
So I'm going to glue this on um, three sides. I'm going to I'm making sure that I have the top up. Obviously, it's all that stuff is the right direction, but I'm uh, directionally impaired often, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. And we're going to go ahead and leave it. Oh, we don't want to do that because um, no, that's not going to work. Silly lady. Um, this won't open if I glue it. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I need to grab a paper towel. All of these have to be somewhat clipped in. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's um, the cost of not having looked at this stuff before I turn the camera on, you guys. So I apologize. I just finished getting ready for my bazaar that's happening tomorrow. So I'm a little bit, a little overwhelmed, <laughs> um, to be honest. So let's look at some of these bigger bits that have to have more room in the journal so I'm thinking this would be actually really pretty um, in the front here so um, let's open this up I can't well, well we'll open it up when we do the flip through because otherwise you guys are going to be here forever so this one is pretty bulky already so I'm going to just glue it straight down and I am actually going to glue on the, um, I'm just going to glue this straight on, so I'm going to glue straight on to the um, sorry silk or seam binding that I have here. So let me just get this glue going. I had some requests to show uh, how I use the ephemera that I made, so I thought we would do a video or two. We'll see. Um, again, I'm not feeling great, so. Uh, original creativity is a little bit blocked right now. I am struggling to be well again. Um, we have a lot of staff sick at school. Um, in fact, our own teacher, our special education teacher is out and so it's been really crazy and so my body is just fighting, fighting, fighting. And so I've been coming home from work and crashing, just pretty much taking a nap. So I'm just gonna lay this down here on that page and I, I often will leave those coffee dyed, those blank pages um, open for journaling, but there, this, this is a big journal. So there's gonna be so much writing space because every single thing that I put in the journal is also writing space. So there is going to be plenty. I try to keep these pretty light. I think I might put a cluster on one of these. I don't have very many clusters. I'll probably do some clusters off camera, but I thought that one would look really pretty right there. Just a decorative bit. And if you um, want to know how to make clusters or want to see how I make clusters, I have a cluster playlist. So that's how much I like them. So you can check that out on the channel. There we go. And we're just going to keep on moving through. I do try to skip around in the journal so I don't bulk up anything too much. This is that trim. Is that amazing? This is going to be glued shut. So let's go ahead and glue that shut right now since we're here. This is um, a piece, a page from the kit, from one of the kits that is printed on vellum. As I mentioned, each signature has, um, sorry about the, this is very, this journal is very wide because of all the, all the um, extra edges. So I'm just gonna glue that edge and that edge. But the vellum that I put in, usually I just put it in as a signature page, but this time I did a little bit of different stuff with the, the vellum, so just to be different. So I'm just gonna press that down, turn this back around. Just gonna get my paper towel so that I can um, get that glue that's seeping out. There we go. So I wonder if there's anything handy that we can put in here right at the moment. So we've got some beautiful tags, so this one could go in here. I think it might be a perfect fit. We might need to wait on that though. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait on that and it might need to be a tag that doesn't have um, a thing on the top because that's gonna push and really put a lot of pressure on that. So we'll wait. Um, we'll have another chance to put some more in. So this I'm thinking I want to just leave as a writing space just because I love it. This was um, 
puppy dyed paper that I did. I didn't film this this batch, but I used a butterfly stencil, and that's why you got kind of a, a partial butterfly wing there. And here's the center of the first signature, so I do like to put something in here. So let's see what we've got. Shall we put one of our crazy pockets? That was one of the recent videos that we did. So we've got this one. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that again. It's not going to fit. Okay, hold on. This happens to me often, you guys. It will fit there, though. That would be an absolutely awesome place for it. Um, but I won't have that luxury on the front because my front is smaller. So, yikesies. That is just crazy. I can't believe I did that again. Um, so, I guess only one of these is going to go in. Maybe the extra will go um, to the person and they can just put it in their stash. I'm not going to make an extra pocket out of it. I'm just going to glue it straight down. So again, any of this ephemera that you're seeing, we made, um, for the most part, we made on camera. So you can check out the, the playlist. You can see how we made it. This one was especially fun. Really, really loved this. I've never seen this before. Lots of people commented and said, oh, I've seen that on Treasure Books or I've seen that on uh, other channels. And I'm like, I've never seen it before. Like, I saw it on the person that I watched and that was it and I can't remember her name right off the top of my head but it is uh, she is given credit um, on the video in the video and on the in the the title of the video so there's that so let's flip back here let's go to the second let's go to the end of the first signature here oops yeah this is the end oh that was the middle that I was talking about this is the middle so we can use some of the middle sure why not so what do we have that can go there? Um, I feel like I have a lot more than, I mean, I have a ton, but I don't know what to do with it because these are way too big. They won't go the way I wanted. They can clip in. So maybe we'll clip this one here. And um, when I put these clips in, I will come back probably and uh, put a little bit of um, seam binding or something on it. I think I'll use this gold like a spiral one here and just put that on there isn't that beautiful oh so pretty so that's one and then we've got this is the other side of that I don't think I'm really gonna do anything with that I might put a cluster on here but I need to make some more and then um, let's see do I want to put anything on there might need to put a pocket. I haven't done any pockets, so this is just making the pre-made ephemera that we've been working on. I will be putting in pockets and things from the kits. I just have not done that yet. So let's just keep, keep flipping through. Let's find where we can put these other envelopes, because we've got three of the large size, larger size. So let's find a place in the second signature for the second one, which this might be a great spot for it right here. What do you think? Yeah, I like that with that. That will be really pretty. So we're going to put another paper clip on here. Hopefully I can get one that's not completely tangled. My paper clips are a mess. Oh, here's just a regular gold one. Maybe we'll use that. It's not a spiral one, but it'll work. There we go. So we'll just clip this one in here. Oh, actually, maybe we should clip this. So I think we're going to interfere with that cluster, but I think it's okay. It's, it looks pretty stable, so I'm just going to kind of get that up over that butterfly. So let's find the pla another place for the last one. I haven't decided if I'm going to decorate. I think on these, I usually cover these with paper, but I think I'm going to leave it um, and put make a journal card that will slide in here and it'll be able to be pulled out so that's that and I think this one oh that's the second signature right we want to be in the third signature for this one so I like to find um, something with the same tones like these lighter tones this is just a, a one that is um, it was a coffee dyed um, digital that I printed on there 
So I'm just trying to find something. I usually will know if I find the perfect spot. Um, this is um, a, a magazine page, but they're really fragile. And so I went ahead and put a digital on the back of it. So that's what you see there. And uh, it works out really well. This is a pocket um, from a music page. That's I'm not going to cover this. I just love the, the seeing the music. So we're going to leave that. And um, well, we got to go to the beginning because I didn't find any place at the end. So how about... We just put it right here. It's not like it really matters. Oh, this is the top in this case. So we will hook that on there and see if we can find another clip. Um, again, I'll probably trade these out and fuss around and see if I, there's something I like better or put some uh, ribbon on them or something. So that will fit there. And so what else do we have? Oh, we have this. So I haven't made anything to go in this pocket. I wonder if oh look at that these were not made at the same time you guys but that is a perfect fit we will do that so let's find a place for her let's put her in the second signature perhaps and where 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 should we put her that's too big there <clears throat> And I don't want to put it here because of that CD envelope. What about here? What about on the music page? Oh, this is a paper clip. I need to clip it on. Silly me. Oh, it would be maybe pretty right there. I forgot that these have the, the paper clip on the side. They're, they're, a, they're a hidden paper clip coming out of the side of this tag shaped thing. So let's just clip that on there. Oh yeah, I love the tones there. I love how this is kind of blending in with that. It looks really pretty. I'm going to scooch this down like so. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to reserve pages. I may have to move things around because I will be putting lace on the edges of the paper. But I wanted to start with seeing how much we had in total here. And you know this, I'm wondering if this one could be... Um, darn it, I wish that I had not Velcroed that. Let's see if we can get that off without ruining it. Probably not. Because this would actually be really pretty as a flip. But with the Velcro on it, that's going to be tricky. I'm going to just see if I can take it off. It is vellum, so it might be possible. I'm just being very gentle and very slow with this process. It's pretty sticky. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be able to do that. There we go. Get that over there. Out of my way. So I think what I want to do, and I'm going to try to take the, the, the fuzzy side off too, because I think it would look funny if it's not being actually used. Sorry, I'm off camera. Okay, there we go. Got them both off. That's pretty, pretty amazing. Because I'm thinking that this one could easily go on the top. And this would be a great place for it because it's just a music page and be glued on as a flip. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this, um, this panel and I'm just going to use the white glue. If it shows through, I'm not worried about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you know, perfection is not at play in my studio on any day of the week. So that being said, some days are harder than others to accept the imperfection. So, and these last days have been have been like that. I've just felt really kind of uh, just unable to really think or process or be myself. So there we go. That is beautiful. I feel like we need more glue there. So let's just get some under there. We don't want this to take any uh, any abu abuse, so I'm just going to push that out. That is gorgeous. I'm going to have to do this again. I love this look. I wish I'd thought of it before, and before I put the Velcro on these, but that's okay. 
there we go. A little more on the tip. We do not want that to um, to get ruined. So what I'm going to do is because there's there could be glue there, I'm going to take a piece of this parchment and just set it on there so it doesn't stick. So we've got also a small one. And do we have any kind of card that can go in this one? I don't think so. These ones are going to have to go in a pocket that I have not yet made. And um, these as well. These are awfully big though. I almost feel like these need to be clipped in because they're these are the ones that have the bubble wrap. Hear that? I love it. So I wonder, probably what I'll do is I'll hook this one on the top of a page, maybe on this page, because then the person can remove it to write underneath it. So let's do that. I am so stinking excited about giving this journal away, you guys. Just so much fun. So I will put some sorry silk or something on the top of that. And that's beautiful. And I might even do a hidden paper clip. That's probably what I'll do is I'll make some of my hidden paper clips so that that looks pretty on that side. And let's see if we've got any other freestanding pieces because that's what we really need here because we've got a couple more of these and I'm so bummed that they're too big. I'm trying to figure, I guess they could go sideways. I mean, it's not really what I wanted because I'm concerned about things falling out of them, but I really want to use them. I don't think it would be bad, do you? Oh, I'm so bummed about that. I think it's because I changed the width of my pages because of this closed spine is probably what happened. Ah, so disappointing, so disappointing. Um, it's a vellum page, so I don't really want to attach anything there. I guess they could be, could it be clipped in? No. Ah, I'm going to have to think about that, you guys. I'm so bummed. This one's working out really beautiful, though. So those are going to have to be uh, 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 next time. This is a belly band. We could put the belly band in. This is also made from the Amazon packaging. So let's find a spot for her. Let's go into this third signature and find a page that she looks good on. This is another one of my coffee dyed, um, stenciled and acrylic inked uh, paper. I like to put this kind of design like next to something similar. So if you know what I mean, it would be like, um, We've got a doily here, that's really pretty. I think I'll pro probably put a, uh, a cluster on there or something, I'm not sure. I'm trying to find a similar page to this. I mean, it doesn't really have to be in a place. Oh, this would be really pretty right here. I think that would be gorgeous. Let's do that. So I am gonna use my Fabri-Tac because this is pretty thick uh, material, a pretty thick belly band, so I'm gonna do that. And again, just gluing on the top and the bottom because then you can slide things in case you're not familiar with what a belly band is, getting that excess glue off string. I'm going to put that right here because you can slide things under it, which we will do. Um, I'm just going to have to get some stuff to go under it. Um, I'm so bummed about those crazy pockets. So bummed about the crazy pockets. I wonder if our little um, fold-out journaling spot, where did it go? Where did it go? Fold-out journaling spot. There's the the real one, or the prototype. The this is the prototype. But where's the other one? Got so much stuff over here. Hmm. What'd you do with it, Kara Renee? Oh, there, there's some stuff here. This was pushed over to the other side. We've got more belly bands here. So we've got quite a bit that can actually go in here. So let me just show you this since I didn't do that a minute ago. So this is the journal card and it folds out like this. 
So it's got a full journal space, and then if you turn it over, you've got still this much more. So that is going to go in the journal, and it can be, uh, it has to be clipped on. So I'm thinking it needs to be clipped on to the side of a page. So let's find, let's, let's go to the second signature and see if we can find a spot for that. Um, that's getting a little bit bulky there, I'm thinking. Um, although I do love this color up against that. I often do move things around, so let's just go ahead and put her down, put her in place here, and then if we need to move it, we can. Um, this gives me kind of a gauge for how much more I can get in it. And the reason why I make my signatures, so, I mean my spine so big, is to account for all of this bulk, because that's the way that I like to create. So we're going to flip to the last signature again, and we're going to put in one of these other belly bands. So we've got this belly band. We've got this one that's got the belly band, and then it's got this envelope with some, some, oh, this one doesn't have anything in it. This is the one that's going to open completely up as a writing space. It's not going to be glued shut, but it goes onto the belly band, slides in like that. So, what should we do with it? What should we do with it? I don't mind covering up some of the, the music page because, and even this, you know, nobody can ever write on this, so it would actually be, no, I want to see that girl. I don't want to do that. I don't want it there. Um, I think right here would be really pretty. It looks like it's a little bit long. Is it a little bit? It is a little bit long. So let me trim off just a tad bit off of, where are all my scissors? Holy cow. I have no scissors here. They must all be out in the living room. I was doing some fussy cutting, so let me grab an old pair here. So I'm just going to trim off just a smidge off the, off the top and off the bottom. Um, and that's why when I sew belly bands, I do allow for that because I do make these mistakes. So my stitching isn't so close that I can't uh, trim a little bit off. So let's see if that's better. That looks better. So let's put that belly band right there. So again, um, this doesn't matter. That's just where my print didn't go all the way, but it's not going to show. So we're going to put that on. And we're going to glue the bottom. And we're going to place it down. So I just try to center it as best I can. It's not, it doesn't have to be, there's no rules about it. This one says, be hopeful, or be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. And if the person who gets this journal is not um, of that faith, you guys can certainly take that and cover it up. I would not be in the least bit offended. Um, I just, I create from my heart, and so it's really hard for me sometimes to think about what other people would like or not like, I guess. I mean, I know that sounds kind of lame, but... I try not to be super um, hypersensitive about it because my faith is my faith and your your faith or um, whatever you believe in is yours. So, and that's okay. So I love that. That's gonna be epic. So that's, uh, it should stay in there. Um, so let's do the other one. Let's go to, let's see what we've got going on in the first signature. Now let me just show you how this is bulking up. So. We still have room, so this is going to close without problems. We still have room. See all that room? And that's, again, why I do such a large uh, spine. So let's see where we want this other one to go. I kind of want it to go on this music paper. Let's, let's take a look at that. It's a little bit... Oh, it's not going to probably work there because the, the music paper is shorter than the other pages. So. That's not going to work. Um, would it go here? Would it be too... Um, this is the one that's made out of vellum. This is a vellum envelope. So will that work? It's going to hang over there a little bit. Um, I want, I'm going to reserve that for something else. 
and I want to reserve some of these for lace so I'm trying to be careful about that as well um, in fact I mean this one could have lace on it um, and this actually could too if I wanted to just underneath that paper clip so we've got that and that and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this this is the other side I'll probably just I might put some paper on this just to cover that because it's not a really a, an image and um, and even that isn't but I, I like to put old magazine pages in so I did so that's the other side of that and that's the other side of that and then we've got the back maybe we'll put it right here And is it big? Nope, it looks to be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and glue it as well. Top and bottom. So I have to tell you about this craft fair. So I was a mixed media artist before I did started doing journals. And I have such a, an overabundance of stuff that I've made, but I have no idea what to do with it. Sometimes I'll just do a random, like announcement on Facebook and I'll just post a piece of art and ask if it if it touches or speaks to somebody and then I just send it to them free of charge and um, because I just have so much and I, I have no interest in selling it like officially like as a business um, it's too stressful and I don't need to do that so I um, I am looking forward to to seeing how people respond to my work um, out there in the bizarre, the bizarre world, in the world of bizarre people, and it, <laughs> not bizarre people, people that go to bazaars, um, because it's, I'm just interested in what people's take on that stuff is, if they like it. Um, so there we go. So we have, what else do we have that can go in? We've got this one as well. This was that one that's a uh, uh, from recycled material and it's got this little like library pocket type of thing and a little card so that goes in there so this can easily fit somewhere without too much difficulty um, I wonder if it could actually go on the doily it might be too heavy it could go on this music page though I think I would like to put it on the music page. I could still put lace here if I do that, so I think I will do that. I'm not going to make it another pocket. Um, it could be, I think I had talked about that this one could be clipped in. Maybe we should do that, just clip it in. Because it's. I covered the back and that's kind of a shame to just glue it down. So I think I will um, just paper clip this on. Again, I might change my mind and move these things around. I'm going to put one of these swirly paper clips on here and I think that we're gonna go ahead and say goodnight with this because um, we're getting late in the video and I don't want to keep you too long um, there may be something shifted around before I turn the camera on and do the next piece but we still got quite a bit um, looking at this I don't think this is going to be able to fit in here it's beautiful but I don't have the room let me just show you though really quick how the um, this is the folio that we made and there's it was a a two-part video so we do need to think about this because it's going to go in between and then we've got these other things that can go in between maybe just one because um, I don't want to again I don't want to stuff this too much like maybe there and there and then let's see what she looks like as far as oh that's really full ooh, ooh, ooh. this folio might have to be an, ex an external piece that might have to be um, an add-on you know just like something tucked in because that's too fat so maybe if we put these two things in instead and see where we get to yeah because see I still have more room to grow so like if you look there we have room to grow so I will have to play around with that because my other concern is I don't want there to be pressure on this hinge um, when I put the hinge on let me just show it to you in case you you haven't seen it and then I will let you go I promise so this is the hinge that's going to go um, half of it's going to go on here um, which way this way and this way 
somebody was asking, I haven't got back to Facebook, but somebody was asking how it's going to close and how you're going to put a signature in there and all of that. So this is how it's going to work. So this goes here and then I always get this backwards though. This, ah, <laughs> I have to take it off and do this. This is the bottom, Cara Renee, and this is the bottom. So it goes like that, okay? That's backwards though, it's upside down. There we go. So it goes like th this. So that clips in there and then this, what is the deal? Oh, it's on the wrong side. This goes over here. And this goes in here, and then it's got this has got a hole, and so that just slides in there like that. And that is how it will latch. All things considered. So that is how it's going to work. So I don't want to put a lot of pressure on that that closure because this is a very different journal. So I may have to go less is more here. Um, rather than my normal, uh, my normal way of doing this. Maybe this needs to go in the front like so and we will have to see so that's getting pretty bulky so um, yeah so this might be a very different journal in terms of what I'm normally able to stuff in um, and stuff so I'm not but I'm not going to worry about it it is what it is and anything that I don't again if anything I'm not able to fit in the journal that was intended for the journal I will send along to the person who who wins the journal as just set some extra bonus stuff so and it could be that I mean I may I may end up not putting these in between at all and just having them both both be you know external pieces um, these were these were great they have a little signature inside they're amazing because I want to be able to put pockets in here and put these tags and stuff that we've made so I am in quite the quandary. So I will be back with you next time, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye-bye.